Hey there, so welcome back to the channel. If you're thinking about building a website with Wix, you've probably asked yourself, how much is this going to cost me? Today, I'm breaking down everything you need to know about the Wix pricing plans so you can make the best decision for your website and your budget. Before we start, you will find a link to Wix down in the description of this video, so you can click on it and it will take you to this page here. And this is a partner link, so you will support my channel using this link and it will also make sure that you will get a free trial so you can start using Wix for free. And if you want to upgrade later, it will give you also the best price. And in the end of the video, I will show you a calculation of the total cost which you have to pay for a website or an online store. So stay tuned at the end and we will go through this and calculate the whole costs. So these are the plans available from Wix. So you have four different plans, starting with the light plan at $17 a month and up to the business elite plan for and roughly $160 a month. And before we start, you will always have a 14 day money back guarantee. So there's really not much risk involved because you can start using Wix for free via my link. And, and even if you decided to purchase a plan, you can always have your money back in within 14 days. So that's quite cool. So let's take a closer look at the plans. We have the light plan, and I would always recommend you, if you just want to have a website with Wix, start with a light plan because you can always upgrade later. The only reason when I would choose the core plan is if you want to have an online store, for example, because it will give you basic e-commerce functionality. And also if you want to accept payments in general, because in some cases, for example, if you have a booking app installed on your website, then you can allow your customers to purchase the appointment upfront and they can pay you upfront, which will of course increase the likelihood that they will show up in your store or in your shop. That's why you want to have the accept payments feature, but if you only want to have a website or a personal blog or a personal portfolio website without any e-commerce functionality, you can always start with a light plan because it already gives you quite something. You have two collaborators, meaning you and someone else can manage the website. You will have two gigabyte of storage, which is fairly enough for pictures. Of course, if you want to upload videos, you will quickly want to have more gigabyte for videos, of course, but you can also use just the YouTube link and have an embedded video on your site. So the light plan is quite sophisticated for most cases. Um, and the core plan, as said, is mainly for online stores. And the other plans you will only need if you have more collaborators or if you need more storage. And they also have a little bit more marketing functionality and a little bit more e-commerce functionality. If you're asking yourself now, okay, what is this in particular? Then you can go to compare plans and it will take you to a table. And here you have all the features listed, but you will quickly notice that the core plan and the business plan almost have the same features available. So you get a custom domain, which will be free for the first year. They will, of course, remove the Wix branding on your site. And you have, of course, a little bit more collaborators on the business plan. So this is not really a big differentiator here. Yeah. And you will have side chat, you can accept payments. And yeah, there, there's not much of a difference. So as said, I would recommend you starting with a core plan if you have an online store or you want to accept payments. If you just wanna have a website, take the light plan and then upgrade later. Now, if you choose a plan, you, this will pay for the Wix software, but of course we need also a domain name. Um, a domain name usually costs you between $10 and $45. This is on Wix, on the Wix block. So that's their estimate. Uh, my domain costs $20. Uh, my domain is julianweber.com and I pay like $20, $20 uh, per year for this domain. Domains are usually quite cheap. So $20, $24 per, per year, it's like $2 a month. But you also want to have like a professional email address. Mine is, for example, contact at julianweber.com. And you will have to purchase a Google workspace for that. I actually don't like that about Wix that much because they kind of force you. If you want to have a professional business email address, you need to have a Google workspace. But this is how they do it. And of course, Google has their own pricing plans starting at $6 a month for the business starter package. I think it's okay because you already get 30 gigabyte on your yeah, storage. 
and you can also upgrade. But I, I would go with the $6 plan, which is $72 per year. And these are basically the three things you need to run a website. I summarized this for you on this sheet here. So Wix pricing, as I said, you can start free under my link down in the description. But if you want to upgrade, you want to purchase a subscription. I would recommend you getting the light plan for $17 per month. Then the domain, it's like $2 per month and the professional email address, if you need it, it's $6 per month. So in total, you will end up paying $25 per month for a Wix website. And yeah, I, I can't guarantee you the price, of course, because I'm not really associated with Wix. This is the price they communicate right now, but of course they will change this in the future from time to time. Yeah, but I think $25 per month for a website is quite a fair price. And if you want to have an online store, of course, it will be a little bit more. So for the Wix plan, you would need the core plan or the business plan. Let's say you choose the core plan, it's $29 per month. And the domain is again, $2 per month or $24 per year. And you also need the professional email address, especially if you have a store, you want to have like a support address. So in total, you pay $37 per month for having an online store with Wix. But now really, really important, you will have to pay a little bit more if you have an online store, because this is just the cost you will have for having an online store on Wix. But with every online store, it doesn't matter where you have it. If you have a Shopify store, a Wix store, or a WooCommerce store, you will always have transaction costs. And if you're based in the US, I'm sorry for you guys, because you will have to pay a little bit more. For example, if you pay by credit card, you will have to pay 2.9% of the transaction amount. And for every transaction you have, will have to pay 30 cents. So if someone purchase something for let's say a hundred bucks on your website you will have to pay two dollars and ninety cents for the transaction fee and another thirty cents for just the transaction so in total it will be three dollars and twenty cents if someone purchased something from you and this is quite something if you add this up for example you have a revenue of like let's say ten thousand dollars a month 2.9 percent will be 290 dollars which you have to pay just in transaction fees and if you compare now like roughly 300 dollars compared to 37 dollars for the software this is just a tenth of the price so these are actually the costs you have to look at if you have an online store because having ten thousand dollars in revenue is not even a lot for an online store you're probably shooting for more right so the transaction costs are really the costs you want to be worrying about here are the costs which i took from the wix website of course they will change too but in general you can say visa mastercard is 2.9 percent apple pay google pay also 2.9 percent and if you are in Europe, you are in luck, it's a little bit cheaper. For example, with a normal credit card, it's just 1.9%. Apple Pay is also 1% cheaper and Google Pay is also 1% cheaper. These are the costs for having a website and an online store. As I said, I can't give you, give you any guarantee that the cost will be the same if you're watching this video. But in general, these are roughly the costs you have to calculate with having a website with Wix or an online store with Wix. I hope you liked the video. I will also link you here the video the full website tutorial for Wix so go ahead watch it and build your own site with Wix and please uh, use my link because this will motivate me to make more videos in the future thank you for listening and see you in the next video